Welcome to the BMF Automation YouTube channel. Today we're working with one of these IDEX smart relays. This is an F1 or FL1F H12RCC. And these guys are supposed to be programmable with the, the web based interface, but I found out that's false. So the software you need for this, sample programs is not it. The only way that I could find it on their website is to actually use the chat function. Once you get the chat open, there's a couple of things that it pops up. We're going to go to software, and then we're going to go to download latest version, and then it's going to populate some options for us. We're going to go to wind LGC, and then it's going to give us a link. For whatever reason, when you search their website, this doesn't come up, and I couldn't figure out why. So, then once you get to here, there's only a couple of options. So, you've got demo version, or you can upgrade. And the demo version is pretty limited, but I did find some ways, and I'm going to show you today how with the demo version you can actually use this and download to this. Kind of. The main thing is that the, all of the download functionality is grayed out in demo version, but if you, yeah, we're going to talk about some tricks to get around that. These upgrades will only upgrade a licensed version of software, so these won't work. And if you do have demo version installed, you can't use the upgrade on a licensed version of software. There's a lot of nuances that are not really ideal with this. But anyways... That's how we found the software. We've got the demo 64 bit, and it is right there. We're going to open this guy up and we're going to go through how to get the program from here onto here. So, there's a few things that you're going to want to, uh, to notice here. Up in the top left corner, once you get the software open, there's diagram mode and network project. If you build a network project, you won't be able to do anything with it, at least with the demo mode. You can see we've got the Wind LGC demo version up here. You want to go to diagram mode. And then with diagram mode, you can add a new device. Sorry, add a new diagram. Uh, and it'll bring up a whole bunch of options for you. This stuff is really not terribly important. Um, because you're not really going to do a whole lot with this. If you want to put an IP address in here, you certainly can. Um, your hardware settings are going to be based off of this, so you'll select whichever model you've got. You can see we've got the FL1F, so we're going to we're going to do the uh, standard FS5. Either of those will work for this project we're doing. This one's going to be pretty basic. Um, and then the, the general, we'll just type the IP address in here that we've already got. I think it's 192.168.0.3 is what it comes with standard. So we're just going to give it that. We're going to hit OK. Basics are done. So now we're, we're going to create our program. And I had a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, pretty easy stuff. We're just going to drag an input in here. Uh, and we're going to let it... I think we're going to let it... Um, we're going to let it select it as I1. That's the input we're going to use. And then we're going to draw out a couple of other things. So what we want is when our input comes on, we want it to turn on an output for a certain amount of time and then shut off. But what we don't want it to do is if the input stays on, we don't want it to keep going on and on and on and on. So we're going to drag a couple of other things in here. We've got an AND functionality, and then we've got a NOT. Um, and then we're going to put an on delay timer. So we're going to connect our input to our trigger for the timer. And then if you double click on the timer, you can put some time delay in here. We want seven seconds. We don't want it retentive because we want it to reset if the input resets. <clears throat> and then we're going to tie this to a not block. And then we're going to tie the not block to our and block. And the input also to our AND block. And then we're going to grab an output. 
and put it over here. That's our output that we want. So right now, let's see if I can get you a little closer here. So we've got an input that's going to turn on for a set amount of time. And as long as both of these are true, the output will go on. So as soon as the timer's done, this not block will switch and this will go off. And I'll show you, there's a little simulation you can do here. So we're going to turn on simulation and we're going to check this out. So if our input turns on, you can see that our output is now on. See it's red there, that line's red. Our timer's timing, six, seven, boom. And now the output is off. You can see that the line is blue there. And then if our input resets, it'll do it all over again. But the functionality that we wanted is that after the timer is done, if the input stays on, disable the output. So that is exactly what we want. And we need two of these. So I'm just going to copy this whole section here. Oop, we got to turn our simulation mode off. I'm going to copy this, control C, control V, drag this over here. And then now we've got two and you can see that it automatic, automatically changed to the next bits that are in sequence. We'll just have to make sure that we've got seven seconds on our timer. We do. Our output is Q2. So now we've got two different outputs that function the same way and that's exactly what we wanted. So the program is now what we want. Now what we have to do is save the program so that we can use it on this. So once you have your program dialed, I know I went through that pretty fast. Um, pause the video, rewind it, watch it a few times. But we've got our program where we want it. We've got an adapter with an SD card in here. These actually have a little SD card slot on them right here. So if you look at this, there's an SD card slot right here. And the only thing you can do with the demo version of the software is you can load a program from the SD card. But you have to know how to save it on here in the right way. So as long as you are in diagram mode, like I showed you up here, we're in diagram mode. There's our circuit diagram. If you go up here and go to File, Save As, you get your save window, right? And we're on disk F. That's where we want to be. If you drop this down i found out that the binary dump the bin file if you save it as that then you can upload it from the memory card to that so we've got a bin file so we have to save it as idec underscore up bin otherwise the smart relay can't identify it now our file is on our disk so we're going to bring this up we're going to go to our f drive we're going to delete this guy And then we're going to eject our disk. And then we are going to get our memory card from here into there. At this point, we've got our memory card here. And we are going to put it in the memory card slot. And it does go with the ridges down on the memory card. We got our memory card in there, and then we're going to do some operations from our main screen here. Let's see if I can get you guys a better view. There we go. So, on our screen here, we're going to hit escape, and we are going to stop the program. And then what we're going to do is go down to card and you've got to have the um, you've got to have the program not running when you do this. If you have it running, you'll have to stop it like I did. We're going to go to card and then we're going to go to load program from card right there. Yes. Yes. Boom. And then we can go to program edit program and you can actually look at it in here and just see that it is what you wanted. Verify we've got our input one, we've got our timer, our not symbol, there's our and and our outputs. Both of them are there how we wanted it. 
and we're going to hit escape. And then we're going to go escape again, start program. There we go. And then once you're on this menu, you can just hit the left or right arrows and it'll bring up different screens, inputs, outputs, analogs, <clears throat> internal bits, date and time. We've got our output there. So what I'm going to show you guys is when we, when we trigger an output, or when we trigger the input, sorry, our output actually does what we want. So all we've got to do is give our input 120 volts because that's the relay that we've got. You can hear it clicking. It'll be on for seven seconds. And then it'll turn off just like that. And you can see on the screen too, um, let me see if I can not shock myself playing with 110 volts. But you can see on the screen, let me light that back up for you. You'll be able to see the output because I've got on the output screen, you'll be able to see number two turn on. There's number two, and then after our seven second delay, it'll go off. Number one, we can try that. One's on. Seven second delay, and then it'll turn off, just like we wanted. Well, that's it for now. Quick walkthrough of that. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below.